We just hit the jackpot, bro. Jackpot. Fifth box in, boys. Let's go. I just bought five abandoned storage units that range from $10 up to $1,000. And today, me and the boys are going to explore what's inside and see how much money we can make. No, first, we're going to open the $10 storage unit that contains nothing but two boxes. I have a feeling whatever's inside is going to be worth a lot of money or nothing. Let's see what's inside. Oh, gosh. Backpack. Diapers. Let's see what's inside the backpack. Oh, half homework. We got a wallet in here, probably worth three bucks. A little fanny pack, yeah, maybe a dollar. All these clothes, let's be conservative, five dollars at most. Definitely not a great start. Well, you know what they say, 95% of gamblers quit right before they went big. Precisely. Next up, we have the $100 storage unit that judging by the auction photo, contains a table, printer, and a bunch of boxes. Oh, a lot of possibilities. Yo, that's massive. Then once we begin exploring the unit, we soon realize it's like a hair salon went out of business and they put all this stuff in here. There's actually a lot of furniture back here that could be worth something. And Clem's mom literally owns a hair salon. Maybe she could use some of this. Old Dell. How much do you think this could be worth? Five bucks, maybe. Are you serious? It's dated. Dude, bro. Joe Biden could have used this back in the day, man. <laughs> now nah, let's be honest. It's probably worthless. Let's get it out of here. We're not gonna be like the guy has some storage words and be like, oh yeah, this phone here can sell it for probably ten dollars. Then we discovered a ton of printers, bills, and receipts. Wow. This stuff is just straight to the trash. Each box is a lottery ticket, all right? This box, nothing. Next just, box could be something. We just gotta keep scratching. Display shelf, $15. Fan, $2. Hair extensions, five bucks. More receipts, worthless. 13 chairs, times that by 10. We could sell these for 130. Then we loaded each item into a moving truck and drove 30 miles to the $250 storage unit. There's yeah. no shower cleaning this out. No way. We have to. We have three more units to do tonight. This is a family's house. This is where champions are made. You have to be willing to put in the work if you want to enjoy the profits. It might be here till four in the morning, but we can make some damn good money. That's true. Now, as we began sifting through layers of dust, I quickly discovered a box full of 60 new knives, as well as some old records, magazines, and toy cars. 1967. That is ancient. Although little did we know, this was nothing compared to what we were about to find. Oh, it's a safe. It's got like bunk all over it. What the f It's locked. Dude. There's stuff in there. We gotta get Sully to bring a fire. We gotta get in it. You know what could be in here? V-Bucks. <laughs> Forget V-Bucks. This could be like evidence from a crime or something. You know what? It's in a house fire. My head's turning right now. It's heavy. It's, it's not gone. heavy. Gone. No, it's or something. It's gotta be some type of gun, right? Could be a murder weapon. Who knows? Now, while we attempt to crack open this safe, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Morgan & Morgan. An injury law firm that will fight to win your case. With over a 1,000 top-tier attorneys operating in 50 states, Morgan & Morgan will fight to give you the best results. When you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth millions. And Morgan & Morgan does not settle for lowball offers. Just in the past couple months, Morgan & Morgan saw verdicts of $6.8 million in New York, $12 million in Florida, and $26 million in Philadelphia. And the fee is absolutely free unless you win. So if you're interested, you can easily start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash clockwest or click the link in the description. Hang on. That's open. Oh, we got it. I see a passport. No, after all our effort, we found a bag of foreign currency, the owner's legal documents, and a 1931 FN semi-automatic pistol. We definitely can't sell this, but that's pretty sick. We have to turn that in. I think we might have hit the jackpot with this unit. It just keeps going and going. Brand new chairs, one, two, three, four, five. Easy hundred dollar lick. I just found the declaration of independence. If that's the original copy, it's gotta be worth at least like 10 bucks. Wish me luck, I'm going under. Yo, Claw, watch out. Now, as I begin exploring the depths of this unit, the boys found a bin full of new party supplies and decorations for every holiday you could imagine. Then I discovered a box full of vintage camera equipment, as well as some cool records from classic Disney movies. Whoa. We're crackers. Little light night snack for you, Ronnie. I'm hungry myself. I might have to get some. <laughs> we just dug out an easy $700 worth of power tools. Ah, oh, shit. Now, as we continued cleaning out as many items as possible, we discovered more unique holiday decorations, power tools, and our third grill of this unit. We just spent six hours attempting to clean this out. We made a little bit of a dent. Maybe 20%. It's 1052 right now. And if we don't make it to the $500 unit soon, we're going to miss out. I'm just going to call up the graveyard ship, have them come in, see what they can find, and have them get back to me. Then after after we dropped off the trucks at my warehouse, it was time for the $500 storage unit that appears to contain cabinets, shelves, and a ridiculous amount of boxes. What if they're all empty? <laughs> That's honestly a possibility. All these boxes can be empty. That sounds pretty light. Good. 
That sounds pretty light. Not a good first impression. Never judge a book by its cover. This is either gonna be a massive W or we're gonna have to spend the next four hours <laughs> throwing a bunch of empty boxes in another truck at two in the morning. Move or bust. This is first impression on the entire unit. Ribs. That's, not too bad. That's not too bad. That's a decent first impression, guys. Then in the next two boxes, we found a clock and a tail light. First impression is actually looking pretty good. No, this could be big. What the heck is it? Oh my god! We just hit the jackpot, bro. This box in, boys. Let's go. It's all new stuff. Everything is brand new. Woo! You guys might be thinking to yourselves, clock list. Why are you freaking out? It's just a bunch of hockey sticks because we have three 400 boxes that are probably full of brand new return items. This is a lot of money. Oh, dude, that's what? like a hundred bucks. What is it? A brand new what chair. If the owner was willing to leave all the stuff we just found in here, who knows what else he left back here. Now, as we begin cleaning out the unit one box at a time, we discovered two metal shelving units and a porcelain sink, along with a ridiculous amount of old iPad covers and outdated tech from 2010. Check this out. Retail, $1,200. Looks like an expensive light, but you wanna just caught my eye here? This looks sick. It's a literal soda bottle carousel. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's $1,200. Hours, but that's pretty cool too, Claw. What is this? Upper balance enclosure set. There's a whole trampoline set in here. I've always wanted my own trampoline. No way! Even <laughs> more hockey sticks. We found like 20 hockey sticks already. Then as the night went on, me and the boys continued clearing out boxes that mainly contained car parts, dog supplies, and hockey equipment. All right, guys, it's currently five in the morning. The boys are tired. They gotta head home and get some sleep. I'm gonna take the rest of these boxes back to my compound, and tomorrow I'll see what's inside. Now, as I finished cleaning out the rest of the unit, I came across a collection of interesting canvas prints as well as an additional $800 worth of returns. Then, after unloading everything at the compound, it was finally time for the $1,000 unit. Here it is, baby. Now, I know at first it doesn't look like much, but look, it's a cigarette machine. What are we gonna do with that? This is my thought process. If someone was willing to leave a cigarette machine, what could be behind that blue tarp back there? It looks pretty nice, right? As nice as a cigarette machine can get. A collector might pay a pretty penny for this. There's some writing in here. It causes cancer. Does it say that? Cigarettes, yeah, man. Yeah, obviously don't smoke. Now, unfortunately, we didn't spot anything worthwhile in the first couple boxes until... Wait a second. Look at this. Ooh! Is it just me or is this an arcade token? Do you think that could be something under here? Never know. More tokens. This is actually worth one here, look. Oh. Little vending machine. Not bad. We could probably get 50 bucks for this. At least. Then we found labels, signs, and more random parts. This is another massive box here. Wow. We just have to see what's behind this tarp, man. This can make or break this whole unit. There's gotta be something under here. Like, why would you put a tarp over trash? What the hell? Someone sold a subway drink machine. Do you think there's actually gonna be a whole drink machine in this? I hope not. Fingers crossed. Oh. oh! Yes! That's a life lesson, kids. Keep yeah. No, 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 no. Please no. buy one more. We're probably gonna have to pay someone $20 to get rid of this, but this slot machine right here, this is nice. We could probably sell this for 400 bucks. I think we're gonna have to test this out before we can make any real judgment. 100%. This is in Japanese. Wait, actually? This is not English. <laughs> I have my portable generator here, and we're gonna see if the machines work. Come on. Let's go! I did not think that was gonna turn on. Here we go. This is it. Oh, no! You won! Three yen! Now, after cleaning out all five storage units, we ended up making roughly $3,700. And since we did make a profit, I'm gonna bet those three subscribers that comment on this video $100. This has been Clockwest, and I'll see you in the next one.